G'day guys, it's Alan here from Fishing Mad. And today I'm out on my boat with my daughter. And she's shown a bit of an interest in fishing. She's fascinated by different fish species and by different water ecosystems. And as a proud dad, I'm very keen to get her out and share those experiences with her. Now, if you're keen to get your family or your kids out fishing with you, then there's a couple of key things that you need to remember. Firstly, guys, only take them out in calm conditions. Have a look at the forecast. They're gonna enjoy it a lot more if you're not bouncing around all day. Secondly, don't be out there for too long. Keep the sessions reasonably short. If you expect your kid to sit on a boat all day while you fish, you're absolutely setting yourself up for failure. They will associate fishing with boredom and then you've lost them and they won't come out with you again. Now when you do take them out, make sure you take all the basics. You want a life jacket that fits them properly, you want water, you want snacks, you want sunscreen, a hat and sunglasses, all the things that's going to keep them really, really comfortable. And then don't make sure you do not take devices such as smartphones and tablets. It defeats the purpose. You want to be out there fishing with them. If you're going to entertain them with devices, you might as well not even bring them. Guys, the biggest thing is just to make sure it's fun. Encourage, 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 and once you've done that, encourage and praise even more. So make it fun by letting them choose the color squid jigs, let them choose the color soft plastics, let them go out and buy their own rod and reel combo before they go. Get them to help you rig up. Make it fun. If you don't make it fun, they're not gonna to wanna to come out with you, guys. But I think if you get those key things right, then your family will love that experience with you and you've got some extra fishing companions probably for the rest of your life. Now guys, today we are at Port Phillip Bay. We're gonna do two things. First, we've headed out just a little bit. We're gonna see if we can get onto some pinkies and some snapper. We're gonna try that for about an hour. And if we don't do any good then, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the shallows and we're just gonna flick some soft plastics. For Christmas, I bought my daughter one of the Savage Gear Manic Spin Packs and it had a brand new two to four kilo rod a 2000 size reel, it was spooled with eight pound braid and it came with a container full of soft plastics and jig heads. And she was actually really excited to get that. So we're hoping that we can break that in. And our best chances of doing that is going in shallows, drifting around, trying to get a couple of flathead or pinkies. But guys, I think that's a recipe for a successful day out on the boat with your kids or your wife or whoever else. And for now, let's get fishing guys. Okay. Well, if you want to see it up close and personal, now's the time. Trust me. <gasps> it looks like he's got coral on his tail. Yeah, doesn't he? <laughs> All right. So now you're flicking plastics. Yeah. Oh, it is on. It is on. Pinky. Mm, you reckon flathead? I reckon pinky the way it's. Oh, both rods. Again, yeah. Oh, Pinky, this one's about to go off as I well. Going down, though. Look how cute he is! It's a natter! A... How many kilos is that one? Uh, I wouldn't even say one. No, like that's all, it's got to be a 10 kilo monster. <gasps> Jeremy Wade from River Monsters would call that a man eater. <laughs> wouldn't he? Yep. Because if we're not careful, we could be eaten at any minute now. Uh oh. Alright, let him go. He's a beautiful Sorry, fish. Sir. And bang, they're quick. What have you got there? Two flatties. So one wasn't enough for you? No. You've gone and you've caught two. a double head or a flat head. Wouldn't it be nice if that was just one flat head with both their sizes put together? That would be a great eating size. Yes. And you can see at the moment there's lots of those bait fish everywhere. And obviously these little flat head are just feeding on them. So we're just going to loosen that a little bit. We're going to let both these fish go. Can you hold that rod for me please? Yes. Good girl. Alright so one, and that one's just come out now. Oh, he's like, oh, where am I going? Hmm, should I just stand on the top here or, you know, let's go for a little swim down there. Bye. Just very gracefully. Oh, he's taking his time, isn't he? Yeah. It's like, what happened? Where am I? Slow down, slow down. He's on again. I think that burly's starting to work now. Lots of little flatties we're getting. 
Does it feel any bigger? Yes. It does? Oh, that's a nice flathead. That's it. That's it. There you go. One on the soft plastic. What have we got on the plastic? He's starting to wake up now. Another flathead on the soft plastic. Look at that. You alright, Tara? He's gone right down. Nice fish. Oh, that's probably the other rods going crazy. There. I see, I see. Pop him there. That other rod. Okay, that's okay. Now we're catching some better sized ones. We'll let this guy go, but that was. All right, you gotta grab both hands. That one feels like it might be a little bit bigger. Another pinky. Yeah. These are biggest. Oh, that's not a pinky. Look at that. What is it? Right, right down, right down, right down. That's a trevally. Look at that, guys. So beautiful. Oh, oh. And very slippery. Geez, they go hard, these guys. Beautiful trevally. Look at that. That's awesome for the kids to catch. Now they've got no spikes so they don't hurt, but they're really slippery. And you're gonna have to put your hands like that together. What is that? A uh, diamond Tre trevally. Beautiful little trevally. Now they, even though they're small, they fight really, really hard. And obviously you get the huge ones up in the top end of Queensland. All right, that's it. Let's get him back in the water. Bye, fishy. He's gone already, eh? Yeah. Cool, a trevally. She's on again. She's a machine. I didn't even get to touch the bottom and I was like... Didn't even touch the bottom? What did you call? A flatty or a pinky? What's it fighting like? It's fighting like a pinky. You can tell, can you? Yes. What's the difference? Pinkies have more of like... Like... Tongue. Yeah, you're right. Stress. Look at her go. She's calling them. Catching them in two seconds. One. Well... <laughs> bringing them up and catching them are two different things, I think. But Another little pinky, you think? Yeah. Yep, can't get past them now, can we? Now this, this one. Yeah, go, 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 go. Just hold it. Yeah, you're on, you're on. You're on, that's it. Go for it, sweetheart. That's it, well done. Thank you. Look at this tail go. There's definitely fish on there. Probably not a big one. There he comes up. What have you got? You got a little pinky, you can lift that straight. Oh, yeah, get ready, get ready. Yeah, yep, you're on again. Just hold it, just hold it. Oh look, big jellyfish there, eh? You were definitely getting some big taps then. Yeah, yeah, I reckon you're, st you're on. Good job, well done. Good job, Taya. Very, you go nice and slow, that's good. I reckon it'll be another little pinky again. Oh, that's it. Oh, you've got the other line as well. So just walk backwards. That's it. I don't know you want to just yeah. let him go. All right. See you later, little pinky. If you can go and let the bigger models know that we're waiting for them. <laughs> A little bit loose, I reckon. It's definitely getting some nibbles. I'm going to check the bait on this one. <laughs> now you're right. Good girl. Just hold on. Get comfortable. Oh, you got on. You on? Yes. Yeah, you got a fish on. <laughs> She's got a fish on again. Now she loses her balance. Let me put that there. <laughs> what do you reckon you got this time? Another, another little pinky, you reckon? Yeah, there you go, another little pinky. So there's no... They're all going... I said, just look at it. There's no shortage of these little pinkies, is there? They're everywhere. What people call them is bait assassins because we're trying to get our baits down and catch a bigger fish and these guys jump onto them pretty much right on the drop and he swims away. Look at the size of this starfish, eh? It's crazy. The really hard thing with snapper fishing at the moment is between little pinkies and starfish and stuff, your baits are just getting hit straight away. So you just got to be on your toes, keep changing things up, and uh, hopefully you won't run into too many weird and wonderful things like that. I am now. You're on again, eh? Yeah. Oh, that, that feels better. It, it oh, that's a better fish. I'm take your time, take your time, take your time. That's a better fish. That one actually can feel the drag. Oh, look, what have you got here? Another 
Oh, well, is it tight? It's still a small one, but just they fight hard, don't they? Alright, so let's go nice and slow. Just if you sit on the esky almost, you can do that. So there we go. And they're definitely taking just the pilchards at the moment, aren't they? Well, these guys, they fight really hard sometimes, the small fish. Do you want me to let him go? You give, oh, you, let go. you give him a little pat. Let's Thank see you. you <laughs> Cooperative. <laughs> go and get your mum and dad. Get the bigger ones. Tell them we're waiting. See you, buddy. And away he goes. It's okay. Is it a big fish? No, that's taken a full pilch. Are you kidding me? This little pinky has taken a full pilch, a double snailed one. Whenever those big rods go off, the big baits, you're like, oh, 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 but. Uh, I can't believe that. Look at that little pinky's taking a pilchard, pretty much his size. You sort of get excited when you see the rod bouncing around. Beautiful fish. Ah, he's got me. Yeah, tangle with the jellyfish. <laughs> yeah, Taya. Yeah, little fish. Little fish, little fish, let me in. I'm pretty sure it was on. Yeah, it's a little one. Nice and easy, nice and easy. I think it's going to be a real small one though. Maybe was that blind fish again? There we go, another little pinky. That's it, don't panic, don't panic. There we go. Yeah. Do you want to grab it? Yes. I think it's a fish. I'm not sure if I lost it or not. You can try. There's definitely some weight when I first hit it. Feel any? It. Oh, no, there's definitely a weight there. The Another little flatty, hey? Good job, get him all. Right, lower the rod, lower the rod. That's it. Whoosh. Look at that. Yeah, that's Isn't that cool? Well, that's it, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Been out on the water now, probably for about two hours. And I can certainly sense that my daughter, she's probably getting to that point now where she'd probably like to pack it up. The good thing is we caught heaps of fish. Yes, there was no big ones, but kids just love catching. Whether it's a fish that's this big or this big, they love catching, they love watching them swim away. And we did all of that today. So really, our two hours on the water was non-stop action, kept her busy, lots of smiles. It's a great way to encourage your kids out to fishing. It's something that I really, really enjoy. As always, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We've got some huge plans for 2020. We're going to target a bit of this and a bit of that. So, guys, do make sure you subscribe to the channel. And until next time, good fishing, everyone.